Hi, Paul Brody here. We're in my shop. We're, uh, we have a shop project today. On the filming, Mitch. Mitch behind the cameras. And we're gonna work, make something for the lathe. So I have a piece of brass here. I can tell you how long I've had this on my mind to actually make, make what I want to make. See, it says Aramaki right there on the... So that tells me how old this piece, how long I've had this piece of brass because I had a company, Aramaki Northwest, and I had that company from 1999 till 2005. So I ordered this piece of metal sometime in there. So this piece of metal I've had for at least 17 years. So it's time that we actually use this. This is going to be used on a handle, on the lathe, on the tailstock. So let's wander over there and I'll show you what I'm talking about. As I'm working on the lathe, if I drill a hole, you know, I go in fairly slow. And then when I want to I want to bring uh, uh, the chuck back, I spin this. So you can see how far it's out. It doesn't, if it's out quite a ways, it doesn't spin the whole way. It's, it's not because there's a lot of friction. This is light. What I want to do is, this is three quarters, this is three quarters. What I want to do is to wrap this around here so it's a big weight. I want to round the edge so that when I spin this, it spins all the way. That's what I want to do. So that means heating this and, and bending this. And I've never done that with brass. So I don't know if it's going to crack or bend easily or uniformly or anything like that. So let's go back to the bench vise. The bench, I'll show you my, my bending jig that I'm working on. And we'll talk more about this. How much is brass? I don't know how much I paid for this back in 2005 or earlier, but at the metal shop yesterday, because I needed a piece of metal, I asked about the price of brass. One foot of this brass, which is three quarters by three quarters, is uh, $32.58, so basically $33. This is three feet, so right here is $100. If you add the tax on, we pay at the rate of 12% here, $112 if I want to buy this right now. So anyway, we're gonna use it up. So I've made a sketch here of what I wanna do. We're gonna make up a, a bending jig. This is gonna get mounted on here. This is the stop. That'll get mounted something like that. This is the stop. So that this bar goes in there, then I'm gonna heat it up with my big torch and I'm gonna bend it around there. This is a little bit undersized. It's about a couple hundred thou, almost a quarter of an inch smaller than what we actually need. So right here, we're gonna have, have two pieces, first and second piece, and then I bought these Allen screws. These are three mil Allen screws, and I think they're 12.9. So one will go that way, one will go like that. So we're gonna hopefully bend this. If we can't bend this, that's a problem. I could weld that right onto there, and I could weld that onto there, but I'm gonna use eight millimeter bolts. I'm gonna, gonna weld this piece into here. That's See, that's a pretty good fit. Just have to hammer it a little bit. I've sharpened up some tungstens. We're gonna do a little bit of TIG welding. This goes in the lathe. We'll drill a hole right in the middle. And then that'll get mounted like that. So I have a plan. Let's find out if my plan is gonna be successful, okay? Now we'll make it level.
That was a quick tap. I don't want this in the middle like that because then I don't know where I'm bending. This has to be bent level if possible. So I want this to be up here like that so that I still have some area here that I can rest this on as I bring it round and heating it. It's got to do a 180 and we have to do that twice, one on each end. So I'm hoping, hoping we're good. So let me see. That's about where we want it right there because there's just enough room for the brass. So I'm going to mark that and then we drill two holes in the drill press and then we assemble this. I'm using those to find the center. I was at a, at a swap meet on Sunday and Bob gave me this ruler. Thank you, Bob. It's a, uh, man, is that old. You don't get rulers like that anymore. And I kind of like it, so. It's getting its use here. Right in the middle. If I bolt these pieces on like I am and and I don't weld them on, I can modify it, I can change it, I can put a bigger one on a smaller one, I can move things around. So that's kind of why I'm doing it this way. If I just weld them on, it's just one, one size fits all and I'll probably never use it again. This way I get to use it again. That's what I think, that's what I hope. I'm using my nice Silker Allen wrenches. Didn't use them for what, five years? Cause they were too nice, but now they get used. Okay. So there's a bending jig of sorts. Oh, look at that, it fits in there, okay. So I guess it's time for the big torch. Cross my fingers for this one. Got the big guns out now. I never use this tip hardly at all. lot of heat but ultimately I think that was pretty successful what what happened is that as I came around here see, see there's a gap here it, it didn't it didn't stay flat so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna take this off have to let it cool down and then we're gonna use the hydraulic press and we're gonna squash it down and make try and make it flat that way because otherwise it has to be machined, it gets a little too slim because this is three quarters, the handle is three quarters, so you really wanna maintain the thickness so that there's not a step onto the handle. So, wow, bending brass. Side two.
He went out with a bang. So that's, that's a high spot right there. Okay, so there's the high spot right there. Got to press down right there. That's that's pretty close. Okay, so we'll work on the second one now. Oh, that's nice. Okay, we're good. I'm lining up the brass with the drawing and I have to make a mark where I use the hacksaw because it has to be cut and then it goes to the mill, it gets faced, they get bolted together and then they get machined. So that's basically what's going on here. How long can that take? It grows pretty nicely, it's pretty soft. So I've got it in neutral now, so I will just, I can just, I'll start it by, by hand like this. When I was building the whippet, I had to tap all the spoke holes. The spoke holes were smaller than this, and it was bronze and, uh, I sweated a little bit over that because if I broke one of those taps, I'd have to start from brand new. But this is a lot softer. This is brass, so and it's going in pretty nicely. There you go. See it? Beauty. Okay, so, oh, look at that. There's quite a few threads there. That'll, that'll be fine. It's a 2.5 Allen screw. Well, this is a bit exciting. Putting this together. after all the heating, machining. Point seven one nine. So we're going to take a skim off of this side because after this we'll change the chuck. Well, we'll change the chuck jaws the other way and we'll be holding it on the inside. So we'll take a little cut off here.
Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll take a skim cut off the off the OD, and then we're gonna round it somewhat. I'm just I'm gonna make it a little bit rounded. I can finish it up later. I'm sure Mitch doesn't want to watch me spend a couple hours making it almost perfect. Okay, so what we got here is not a perfect radius, but I'm gonna I'm gonna work on that. And I could I could spend quite a bit of time. Let's just see how this fits on here. How's the fit? Okay. And if it's a little loose, I can put a shim underneath, like a, a piece of paper or something like that. I made it basically size on size. So we'll see how we did for the board. So I can't I can't move it on there. So let's see what happens here. I'm gonna <laughs> just go. Okay, so after after I, I drill a hole, this this is what I wanted. It comes back all the way base basically if depends how hard I spin it. Okay, so that's about the maximum there. So if I give it a good spin. Anyway, it's better than what it was. I haven't oiled this for a while. So anyway, that's, that's what we worked on today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe you learned a little something, how to bend bras, perhaps. Mitch and I like coffee. If you buy us coffees, much appreciated. Give us a thumbs up if we did good. Subscribe, take care, bye.